Mr. Shibambu, looking at their numbers on the board, the EFF has now got over 1.3 uh, million votes. Are you happy with what you're seeing? No, look, we are satisfied with the numbers that we have been given as the EFF and we welcome uh, the support and the confidence which more than a million South Africans are demonstrating and showing practically to the economic freedom fighters. And we, of course, respect that outcome because uh, we spoke to as many people as possible and uh, more than a million have voted for the EFF and we really appreciate that. And what is also giving us confidence is that uh, three elections in a row now, we have always achieved more than a million votes, uh, which shows that we are a serious political party. Well, amongst the three political organizations in South Africa, well, it's the fourth one now with MK, which uh, are achieving above a million votes. So we're quite uh, satisfied with the uh, number of people that have voted for us. And of course, we want to convey our most uh, sincere gratitude and thankfulness to the more than millions of Africans who have voted for us, to the membership of the EFF, the ground forces, the commissars, and all the people that got to pledge support to the economic freedom factor. So we really appreciate the progress that we've made thus far. But can you really say that you are satisfied? You look at the growth of the EFF. I mean, the last elections, you got 10.8% of the votes. You look at KZN, you were the best performing party in 2019 in KZN. I think you got over 500,000 of the votes, both nationally and provincially in 2019. But you look at what you're doing right now, for now, just for now, it seems as if the MK party is surpassing you as the third largest political party, or as the third largest party that actually got most of the votes, for now. Yeah, you know, the tectonic shifts that got to occur in KwaZulu Natal are, of course, different. They need a different analysis. And they, 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 they define all political parties. Uh, the ANC has suffered the biggest loss in KwaZulu Natal, possibly more than 40% of the vote that they had in uh, 2019. The IFP is suffering the same fate as well. There was no way that when there are tectonic shifts politically in KwaZulu Natal that the EFF was going to be spared from that. Uh, but what is inspiring is that despite a huge contribution from KwaZulu Natal, which was our second biggest contributor of votes in 2019, the EFF is still comfortably above a million votes which shows and demonstrates that we are not a regional political party that even if there are shifts in one corner of South Africa, we still remain solid as an organization. That is commendable. So let's say it was just a regional political party and such shifts happen. We're going to dwindle into permanent insignificance, but we are not dwindling into permanent insignificance. Our voice matters. The government of South Africa will be constituted with our voice as to what happens. So there's no government which is going to be constituted in the province of Gauteng at national level without the voice of the economic freedom fighters. So that tells of a party which is a force to be reckoned with in South Africa's political dynamics. So we are more than happy and satisfied and we have to respect the people of South Africa. We cannot say that because a certain number didn't vote for us, we are now disappointed. We are not disappointed. We are welcome and respect what the people have said. They've sent a very clear message to the ruling party that they cannot continue to be government uh, as a one party for more than 30 years. And that is the message, by the way, which we have been preaching as the economic freedom fighters that we need to take the ruling party out of power and we have successfully done so. As you go back to the drawing board as a political party and as you reflect, what conversations will you have as the EFF as to what could have you done better as a party? You know, one of the things which you must appreciate is that to build a national organization that has got solid footprint in all corners of South Africa needs time. And we have been doing that. That is why we are gaining expression and representation everywhere. That is why even when there are shifts in certain corners of South Africa, we are not affected everywhere else. So we are doing well. We are so far so good. The organization is growing in a proportionately balanced way and in all corners of South Africa. So you see we've got rising votes in the Northern Cape, we've got rising votes in the Eastern Cape, in the Northwest. Uh, we, are, we are gaining more or less our stability uh, in Pumalanga and Houteng as well. We are, we, are, we are a serious factor in terms of the dynamics. So we are an organization that is there. There is nothing that we are fundamentally doing wrong as the EFF. We are building 
a movement for the future. And we're happy that even young people are demonstrating the confidence in the economic freedom fighters. Because if we were to check the results of VDs where universities and investors of technologies are, you'll realize that the EFF has won almost all those voting districts and stations, if not once, in certain instances. So this tells of an organization that is here to stay because it is supported, it is anchored by young people. A bigger number of first-time voters got to vote for the Economic Freedom Fighters because they know that this is a movement that represents their future. So we're more than happy that young people are supporting the Economic Freedom Fighters because they are saying to us that you are the organization of the future. Go and play a role now in government so that when we, we later on take over, a total outright takeover as the EFF, you already have learned the ropes as to what must happen. So that is what we're going to do exactly on behalf of young people of South Africa. So